LinkedIn that I'll be showing that how to create a responsive table with fixed column in Figma. Before jumping into the steps, it's very important to understand that in Figma, there is a all artboard called frames. And inside Figma, we have a feature called constraints. So frames and constraints. So basically, if you look at these two things are very important. One is frames and another is a constraints. So frames basically artboard <clears throat> and constraints when you are putting a constraint of an object, whether it will be left side or right side, it will be scalable or not. So within this two uh, feature or two main elements, I created that. And I got that uh, idea from uh, one of the Figma forum and then I thought that why can't I create that? So I created that and I share with you guys. So here is the steps. Let's get started. So this is the original one where you can see that if you move, then your name column, checkbox, label, email, actions, all are moving, all are you know, responding according to your screen size. So <clears throat> how I create that? At the top, I recreated this uh, again. Uh, but I'll be quickly showing you that how I recreated and how I apply that constraints. So if you look at this the checkbox and this checkbox are basically I just create one rectangle let's say 16 by 16 and I apply just a you know, stroke and then I convert this rectangle as a frames. So how I did that there are two options if you right click and then there's option called frame selections. So if I click that now this particular uh, checkbox becoming a frame. Now I can put a size of this frame by just simply let me zoom in a little bit by just simply click and drag. So if you see that when I click and drag my main elements are not moving. It's staying in one position but my frame size I am increasing my frame size. So what that mean means this frame is a artboard of that particular uh, element and now if I change the size of this artboard it will not reflect in my uh, you know that element it will reflect the size of that frames so this is a primary ingredients for creating this kind of responsive design now I want to give let's say for uh, 44 pixel and let's say here also 44 pixel or maybe 40 pixel. so you can also change the size from right side 40 by 40 and now i want to make this as a central element it's a very simple just select this element and in the right side in the design property you have the alignment setting so just click and click this center and middle alignment horizontal and vertically though now you can see that your uh, objects are centrally aligned with that frame and here in the left side panel also you can see that it become a frame right so now I rename it to checkbox in similar fashion what I did is here I created this name if I drill down a bit then you can see that name and arrow both are separate element but it is inside one frame so it each and individual elements I created as a frame and I put some height and width of that particular frame and I kept it here now all these are different different frames and these frames I again group them as a, another frame so what that mean is let me okay now if you look at the entire second I just uh, so if you look at let me first ungroup this header so let me ungroup this uh, now if I ungroup then you can see this is one frame it's called checkbox this is another frame which contains two more frames there is a reason I'll explain that so let me ungroup this one also and so now name is one frame email is one frame lock is another frame and action is another frame so let me resize that email to similar to this lock so you can see that when you press the alt key 
and you can see that it's it's snapping to that particular uh, right side element of log so so that means this will behave as a column so one two three four five now i just need to adjust uh, this column a bit okay okay so and there is a divider also so this divider i kept it as it is now what i am going to do is i just simply select every thing at the at the top header which i will call it as a header because this will be staying at the top and again i will create this as a frame selections okay now after creating all these frames you have to uh, apply constraints so what that means means now this is you imagine this is an artboard if i duplicate it if you see that this is an artboard again right so i need to put constraints inside this artboard so how it will work so simply if i check here in this checkbox in the right side panel you can see that i apply the constraints of uh, let me bring it here if i see it here that i apply the top and left constraints that means this particular element will behave inside a frame that it will always position on the left side and also on the tops similarly this particular name i gave a constraint of top and scale that means it will stay at the top and also if you stretch it it will scale according to that uh, you know responsive size this email also is the same lock i put it on the top and right because it will always be on the right side and action will also be at the top and right but the interesting fact is inside this element you have to also put a constraints so this name will be always top and left similarly this up arrow also is a top and left same like email it's a top and left right and of course this lock also will be inside top and left similarly in actions but now the if i see that you know if i try to response is here it's not working why if you look at the left side and the lock and actions are behaving properly but name is slowly moving towards the checkbox so what is the solution and also if you look at the divider is not behaving the way it should behave so how to fix that you select divider and if you notice that right now the divider is top and left side the the constraints of the divider is top and left to make it scalable it will be at the bottom and it will behave as a scale so so that means now if i move then you can see that my divider is also scaling according to my size now coming back to this name right now the name and email both are scaling but both are scaling within that outside uh, you know that uh, uh, frame so what i have to do is here i need to select email frame and name frame and i need to again create one more frame so you can create it by right clicking and frame selections but there is a shortcut if you select both the frame and in your mac if you just you know press option command and g then it will become a frame so as you see that this is a frame now but now i have to give a constraint of this frame so this frame is right now left and top aligned but i want that the the size uh, the fixed the fixed area will be from left and right and as well as in the top so i just simply select on the right side from the constraints so how to do that if you if your uh, constraints are selected on the left and top just simply press the shift button and click on the right dash so you can change that or, and also you can select the exact uh, you know position element from the right drop down and you can select that so now if i if i create this if i uh, you know resize this so you can see that now it's behaving the way exactly it should behave so if my size will be like this so it's it's coming here so this is the procedure this is how you can create a responsive design I means you know table inside figma and 
as you can see that there are two main element frames and constraints so in the same fashion this row also created so now if i select all these three elements as you can see that the moment i select there are three uh, three major thing one is header row and paginations so then if i create them as a uh, you know entire frame then it will be a single element and you can respond that so let's let's do that again i'll create a frame i select this i will create that as a frame and now if i move this left and right so you can see that it's nicely you know responding and it's working the way it should work now if you want to know that furthermore data sub trick let me know and if you feel something that need to create and show in figma i'll be happy to show that thank you so much